On the center's push for railway connectivity in all state capitals of the Northeast, Chief Minister Konrad Sangma today said that he had met with the Minister of Railways and informed him of the concerns of the people of the state in regards to influx and that plans can move forward only after taking everyone on board. Uh, the railway projects as of now, we have not received the NOC from Khasil's Stormers District Council uh, in regards to the Shillong line and therefore that is uh, still being discussed. We have, I have approached the Honourable uh, Minister for Railways, Government of India and urged that um, these are matters where we need to consult and take our stakeholders into confidence and hence we require time to discuss matters with them and only once we are able to resolve and come to some kind of uh, understanding would we, would we want to go ahead with things. So that is the status as of now. Well, what about Baniyat? In Baniyat also, there were certain concerns are there. And uh, there also we are engaging and discussing with the different stakeholders. I've mentioned before that we have discussed whether we can start with a goods train, because goods train is something that will help the state's economy and the farmers and everybody. And uh, that could be one way to start. So we are discussing, as I said, we are very clear on our stand that uh, we would like to engage with everybody, discuss this matter and take it forward in an amicable way. The central government, uh, in fact, uh, when PM Modi uh, last time came also, uh, he also he mentioned about railways and all central government is again and again putting pressure on about railways. So is there any communication from their side? Please? Yeah, as I said, I have already discussed with uh, the Honourable Minister in my last visit. And the Honourable Minister has expressed that the Honourable Prime Minister is deeply concerned and uh, he would like to see that all the capitals of the state are connected with railway um, in the larger interest of the nation in terms of ensuring that the economy overall prospers and which is a correct stand that if you look at it from a country's perspective uh, connecting all the states and the capital is something that will benefit the country as a whole and obviously Prime Minister has uh, good intentions uh, while he intends to push all states <coughs> and the railway ministry to achieve this. But while that happens, every state has their own complications. And obviously in our state, railway has been uh, an issue where uh, a lot of uh, different organizations and also different uh, traditional heads have raised concerns regarding issues of influx. And hence we need to understand that uh, though the importance of the railway is understood, <coughs> It is also important to carry our people along and build up the confidence in them and which is what I had expressed to the Honourable Minister and Honourable Minister understood and he said that we will uh, go ahead with all of these things only when we are able to carry everybody along and we understand the problems that are there in the state of Meghalaya uh, but we hope that we will be able to find a solution to uh, As per the, uh, which I have been repeating again and again, it is not the stand uh, you know, that people are against railway. The issue is influx and the protection of our people and that is what the issue is. So therefore, uh, it's always made to look as if uh, organizations are against railway. Everybody understands the importance of railway and so people are not against that. And hence, that is what we are engaging with the organizations to uh, understand and to find out options on how we could achieve their goal of ensuring that we are able to protect and uh, have provisions for influx. Yet at the same time also have the railways so that the uh, economy of the state and the country can benefit. So we are working on it and that's what we are trying to move forward with. That it is not an opposition to the railway as such. But the idea is that the interest of the people of the state which is to ensure that influx matters are, are addressed. That is the real issue and therefore uh, we are engaging and we are trying to figure out how we could come to some kind of conclusion. But don't you think that the ILP could be a solution to It could this? be, you're right. Again, the thing is that uh, the, the, the uh, issue again is influx. And therefore, ILP is one of the ways in which we could do it. And that's why in the interest of ensuring that we're able to move forward, uh, we have passed a resolution and taken it forward. But then ILP is not the only way. It's one of the ways. So if we get ILP, then that'll be great. If not, then how do we move forward? What are the other options? So all these aspects are being discussed because as I said, the crux of the matter is not that people are against railway. It's not that people are saying it has to be ILP. It's not that people are saying it has to be XYZ. The issue is influx and the protection of our uh, identity.